I was almost killed in Panama. He didn't see me. I know this wasn't an act of malice. The stop sign placed on that corner could have ended my life here. Well, I almost got hit by a car there. At the bottom of Central America. Okay, come be out of the system. I've spent the past year and a half driving my motorcycle through Latin America, living in each country for a minimum of six weeks, from Mexico to Guatemala to El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and now I'm here. This has been one of the most difficult projects I've ever embarked upon, and I really hope you enjoy all this content coming at you now. Let's start from the beginning. Great. Not one of those uh, shakers. I'm in the middle of a two, three, four year long motorcycle digital nomad expat trip, documenting how it is to live in Latin America, every country from Mexico down to Chile and Argentina. So far, I have lived in Mexico all the way down to Panama, skipping Belize. I have been documenting how it is to live there. Coming back to today, we are in the Panama City suburbs called Arraiján. I wanted to mention where I am and talk about how I'm not asking this to be a pity party. This is not something I want people to think, oh, poor person here, poor YouTuber, poor traveling crazy person on his motorcycle. Oh no, this is definitely some massive risk that I decided to take since I decided to start doing this trip. However, it has been very traumatizing <laughs> doing all the work that I am doing in order to produce the content I'm making with these close calls on my motorcycle. Am I going to stop? No. Have I had close calls before besides this? Yes. So it is not the first time that I have had a close call, but this is a time when I actually had it documented on my Insta360 X3 camera. I was in the Casco Antiguo making content for my channel, doing a walking tour of the area, talking about what I was doing, where I was. Here we have the bridge. I believe this is the bridge that we just crossed, Cinta Costera Base and just showing the, the typical area of the more touristy zone, more beautiful zone, and it's great. And I enjoyed the walk around and I enjoyed the entire time there. And as I was leaving, I was driving through kind of a main road that was passing through the Casco Antiguo. <laughs> Paseo de las Obedas until the end of the tourist zone. Let's go ahead and check it out. There's some churches, here's the Plaza de Bolivia. And boom, there it was. I saw some tourists in the street, kind of just standing in the street. There was a, two police officers on the corner. And myself, I'm driving. I'm very concentrated always when I'm driving. I'm checking out my phone to make sure that I'm going the right way. 
following the instructions of the Google Maps and Waze because without those things, I would not be able to do a trip like this. I'm following forward and all of a sudden, pow, that's what happens. A stop sign was there on the corner. However, it was pretty difficult to see a person driving. They probably didn't see it. And luckily, I was able to dodge somewhat. I have no idea how I was able to dodge this person. Where there was a stop sign, but very hidden stop sign. Two policemen were there and they didn't react at all. They were just like, oh wow, what's happening? I stop, I look back. I'm like, what, what, what happened? Are you going to do anything? They're like, no. <laughs> I keep going forward. Well, I almost got hit by a car there. Great. That was one of those uh, shakers. Then some police want to stop me later. Where is it? Yeah. I'm not sure why, for whatever reason, there was a police stop there. And I said, come on guys, like, you need to check out this stop sign. This corner is very dangerous. I almost was killed. I was almost killed in Panama. <laughs> in Casco Antiguo. For whatever reason, that is what it is. So, oh, it looks like we have a very... It was something that I have always understood and I can definitely assume the risk of what it is to do a motorcycle trip like this. Going through all of Latin America in this way is far riskier than doing it by plane, bus, and whatever, whatever. However, I do think there are some advantages where I can drive around into some more um, dangerous areas without having to worry about walking from place to place, waiting for buses or taxis. That is a thing, a thing that actually makes my style of travel and work and living abroad in these places actually much safer than if I didn't have a vehicle at all. However, of course, when you're doing any type of driving, that is going to be a factor always, no matter if you're in the US, Europe, China, wherever crashes happen. And I have been doing this trip for over a year and a half now. So far, no crashes yet, but that was the closest call Speaking about the danger factor and being able to ride my bike into dangerous spots, you might have already noticed where we are. Today we find ourselves in Raihan Town Center, which is a mall, like an outdoor mall, like a strip mall, in one of the areas of the kind of suburb satellite cities of Panama City. I'm staying in an apartment that's not far from here, and my gym, I prefer gym, I've been to like three or four different gyms in the city, in the area surrounding it already. And this is by far my favorite and closest. However, it's in an area that people in Panama City and Panama, they, they dislike because it's supposed to be the lower class area. So when you're a tourist or when you don't have your own vehicle, don't have your own way to get around, going to places like this just wouldn't make sense at all. Why would you go here? Why would you come here? But I see my gyms here and I, I came here just knowing that I have been in places before with my motorcycle and there's never been any incident anywhere I've been so far in the past year and a half. However, in the place where you would think you would be the safest in the uh, Casco Antiguo, which is basically the old town of Panama. Panama City downtown was where I was almost hit and I almost lost my life. It wasn't the driver's fault. He didn't actually hit me and there was a stop sign. However, it was a really, really close call and these types of situations really make you think, doesn't it? Well guys, if you're enjoying my content, you're enjoying all the information I'm giving you and all the crazy stories, the traumatic situations that I've gone through, hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, and hasta la próxima.